Wagner is down, but not out. That's the word from the mercenary group's leader who appeared on camera for the first time since leading a failed rebellion. Alex Hogan has the latest from London. A month after ending his armed rebellion, the head of the Wagner mercenary group is back in the spotlight and still criticizing Moscow. Yevgeny Prigozhin releasing a new video on Thursday showing him addressing his troops at their new base in Belarus. He says they'll stay and train the Belarusian military before redeploying, but he claims their next assignment will be in Africa, not Ukraine. What's happening at the front line right now is a disgrace that we should not be part of. We should wait for the moment when we can show our and our full strength. Meanwhile, Russia continues targeting Ukraine's food supplies and transportation infrastructure following the collapse of the Black Sea grain deal. And on Thursday, Moscow issuing a new warning saying all ships in the area will now be considered, quote, potential carriers of military cargo meaning that they could be targeted by the Russian military. Ukraine's Western allies responding by pledging more military aid. But the massive attacks of these last three nights require from our side an answer. The answer can only be one, apart from rhetoric, providing more military resources. And the U.S. is already stepping up, announcing a new $1.3 billion package that focuses on drones and air defense system to help Ukraine defend its ports against the Russian airstrikes. The United States is committed to supporting Ukraine alongside our allies and partners now and for uh, the long future. The White House says that it believes that Moscow will target civilian ships as Russia works to seal off Ukrainian port cities. In London, Alex Hogan, Fox News.